Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? So, uh, lately in the world, we've been seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff changing, a lot of stuff going on, uh, you know, protests happening for the Black Lives Matter movement, and it's been, it's been a real, a real big change in the world. Um, our government is starting to see us, uh, what we want and what needs to be enforced, um, based around a corrupt justice system. And um, I thought I thought long and hard about this video, and I really wanted to bring someone in who not only lives the day-to-day -day life, but um, knows a little bit about what's going on out there. And I wanted to bring in, he's been on the channel before, professional, um, professional bodybuilder, Tyrone Pooley. What's going on? How you doing, man? Good, good, good. Um, I would have, you know... I'm glad that you came in to talk a little bit about this. Of course, I would have loved to you come back to promote yeah. more more lifting challenges, but yeah. I think this is this is all good um, to really educate people as to what's going on out there in the world and uh, how you view it. So, first off, what do you think about this movement, man? How's it been? What's it, what's what's it like for you? Uh, it's a good move. It's a good yeah. movement for me. I mean, it's like you said. In your opening statements, just allowing the government and just just uh, high power people to see what's really going on. Right. I mean, at this point, I feel now people at one point was scared to take out their cameras and film mm -hmm. because if the cop pulled them over, you know, stop filming me. And they'd do it because they don't know their rights. Yeah. I think now people are started looking at constitutional rights, understanding their rights, right. and using those rights, and and look what it's doing. Exactly. It's making a big impact. So I think it's a good thing. Exactly. And not just because I'm black and I'm saying that. Yeah. It's for all, it doesn't matter. All, you know, whoever it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's a good thing. No, I agree with you. Um, I actually received uh, some backlash last week because I, I made a statement saying that I don't believe all law enforcement are bad. I believe there's still some good ones out there. Um, and really... I think going into that statement, I went pretty blind without educating myself, and I think this last week has really opened my eyes as to what's going on in the world and, and really educated myself. And uh, another reason why I brought you in today is because your whole life you've just you've lived you've lived that life. You just you know what happens. You know how how the, how it is out in the world. Um, just tell us a little bit about what it was like for you growing up. How was it like for you growing up in a world in this world? Um. For the most, I mean, we obviously we we grew up in. Not, I can't say I grew up in so much poverty as some others. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we grew up a little bit when we were younger in Watts. Mm -hmm. Uh, went left there, went to the the Par Woods, and and, and which was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, went from the Par Woods mm -hmm. to Long Beach. I think I started seeing a little bit more when I was in high school. Uh, seeing more of the the difference of how I'm looked at yeah. compared to somebody else of a different skin color. If it's me being put over for absolutely no reason, yeah. like why am I being put over, um, or whatever the case was. Yeah. But like I said, my experience from it is probably going to be a little different from somebody who's actually been in the hood yeah. and the policing has been heavily um, brought upon for certain reasons. Right. And and to go back on your statement, the um, not all law enforcement is bad. That's true. Not all, not, not all law enforcement is bad mm -hmm. at all. So if you're getting backlash, you're getting backlash for the wrong reasons. And it's not so much the law enforcement. It's the system. Yeah. People need to realize, uh, remember that. It's not just law enforcement. Yeah, there are bad cops. Yeah, but there's also good cops. Yeah. So um, stick to your statement, and that's exactly what it is. Right. Um, so... And the reason why I, 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 I do stick by that statement is because I have friends and I have family who are actually in that field. Now, it, it's not like I'm saying this movement is wrong in any way. That was never my intentions because I think that what's going on is amazing. Finally, something is happening where the government is actually scared of the people. Mm -hmm. And I think from the start of when we had you know, an actual law system and an actual a system of, of justice and everything, this is how it always should have been. Mm -hmm. It should be the people, the, the, the government should fear the people, and that's how it always should be. Because 
ultimately we're the ones that pay their salaries. We're the one that pay all these taxes. We're the ones that pretty much all our tax money is going into rebuilding this this world. Yeah. And we, as a as a society, need to really just right now as we're doing step up and and let our voices be heard in a time like this. And I've seen a lot of famous people go out there and and really speak their minds and really be a part of this movement. And I think it's wonderful to hear stories and and to really see what it's like I living growing up people finally speaking their minds um with you being of course you know in the in the in the competitive industry of, of bodybuilding and stuff have you ever been looked down upon just because of the way you look or has you have you been treated fair like everyone else if for the most part you know the stereotypical is oh he's black he's good he's yeah. fast he can jump he can all that so in that field not so much yeah. because it's expected for us yeah. to be just that much better than and that's and again that's not even always the case and depending on the sport or the, it doesn't matter right you know it, it's just um so in that in, in power in powerlifting or whatever not so much it's kind of always been just like the stereotypical, like oh, he's strong, big black guy. Yep. Yeah, he's for sure. Um, yeah, it's been. I've been. Yeah, it's like we. I know we talked about this last time too when you were here. Is just like just what you do on a daily basis as far as getting up, your routine of just um, what you eat and everything and, and all that. And uh, I remember you talking to us a little bit about how your your powerlifting goes and what you do to train for it and stuff and. I, was, I remember just being amazed by just hearing of the stuff that you go through because I can yeah. probably not nearly do that right now. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's hard. It takes a lot of training behind it and stuff. Exactly. Um, sure. I have a couple of questions that were sent in to people who actually really want to know um, more about what they can learn from, you know, your your point of view of things. Yeah. Uh, what, what was your, of course, how were you impacted with all, all the various deaths, of course, with the George Floyd and, and Breonna Taylor, all them, like... Um, the Breonna Taylor one was pretty, um, that story, again, we only can go off of what, what we know, what we, what yeah. the media is giving us. Yeah. We don't know what's, you know, what's given to us is even true, but so yeah. we have to just go off of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, breaking into someone's home, I believe that was her story and, 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 and shooting. Come on, I mean. Yeah. That's plain, that's, that's just, that, obviously that's not right. Yeah. Killing anybody, don't matter, right? Yeah. Mexican, whatever the case is, yeah. black at all, no person of law enforcement should be sitting there killing anybody because if you can't call on the police to help, who do you call on type of thing? I think that's what people are at right now. Mm -hmm. um, to George Floyd, um, there was two different autopsies that came out with him having all these different effects and him, his background came up also where he was like this bad guy and, and it's like that's what the system is for yeah. and that's what police and judges are for to put people in jail for that stuff. Yes. Whatever he did in his past, it's done. Mm -hmm. He was a free man at the time that he died. Um, obviously, I was, I believe he was committing a crime as well, a counterfeit, which is uh, a $20, uh, some, bill, $20 bill, yeah, something, bill, something like yeah. that. Um, it's kind of like, and, they, and I hear a lot of things, you know, we need more training for, to me, there's no training on common sense. Mm -hmm. If somebody's saying they can't breathe and you're on their neck, they can't breathe. They can't breathe. Get up. Those are just simple things. Yeah. Um, and there's been a lot more. I've even seen some that I've never even seen, like lists of different people yeah. that I had I haven't even never even heard of. Mm -hmm. So was, I guess now with this whole march, a lot of these new information is coming out, and I think it's good right. to give, like you said, you know, the government is actually now scared of the people and now are responding. So, right. who do you think people can uh, beat uh, advocate-wise for Black Lives Matter? Um, just to be the voice, yeah. basically, for Black Lives Matter, right now, um, I would say, I guess it just depends on, maybe, like, you know, if it's L.A. County, I think a lot of people, and rest in peace to him, I think if Kobe Bryant was to be alive at this point, I think right. he would have been a pretty good advocate. Yeah. Even, um, I think Nipsey Hussle had a pretty big impact on the community as well. You know, if he said peace and everybody's, you know, peacefully doing everything. Um, as of right now, if we're talking about the the present, um, 
I believe uh, this, is my, this might be kind of random, no politics involved, but Kendrick Lamar, honestly, because he's done a lot of different things in his music and came out in different um, like a, a war ceremonies as well mm -hmm. and kind of talked about it in his music videos, right. him dressed up as prisoners and, and rapping about it. So I think he already had a head start on it, and I think he'll probably be a, a pretty good advocate right now, especially for the city of L.A., because the city of L.A., they showed out yesterday. Oh yeah. oh yeah, they did. I yeah. I saw that so, and I was like, wow. Yeah. That was that was a huge. That was huge. That was huge, man. That was powerful. That was huge. Words were said and and everybody was just getting their word out and yeah. That's so. where that's where it's been right now. And I think with movements like this, it really brings our country into one and unites yeah. everybody. And that's how it always should be. Yeah. Exactly. Um, exactly. And uh, I was reading a statistic today that uh. You know how each movement throughout history has taken longer than it. it you know what you uh, a normal per person would average. You know think a lot of people just think they protest for one week and it's done. Mm -hmm. If you look back at a lot of movements, like some movements took years, months. Yeah. You know, and just just to keep going, just to get their word out there, just to kind of keep it going. And a lot of what I'm seeing right now on social media is, you know, don't let this fade, keep it going, mm -hmm. because that's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to let them win and just let them think that we're giving up. Um, I think the message that's been happening with, of course, everyone who spoke their voices to get the, of course, people who were behind the George Floyd death, uh, sentenced and in a, in front of a judge and, and get that all situated has been a tremendous, a, a great, um, a great uh, a movement that's been been happening now I think everybody just wants justice for the rest of the victims right and I think that's also yeah. another great um, thing that's happening right now Tyrone you are in uh, the law enforcement field right yeah consider that. And, and what is your actual position so as of right I work uh, I'm, a, I'm a public safety officer right I'm in your dad actually. yeah uh, for the city yeah. so um, obviously we handle you know, co-related co -related, uh, issues, uh, homeless, parking in traffic, if it's an emergency for animals, uh, different things like that. So, I mean, um, our interaction with the community are, is, is heavy. Mm -hmm. um, now, do we respond to, you know, uh, burglaries and shootings in progress? No. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, we do wear a badge with a uniform and we're enforcing something. Basically, we're telling somebody Either you do it like this, or this is the end result. You're enforcing the code You're, and the laws of the cities. And exactly. Like so you, we're enforcing something, yeah. and people do not like to be told what to do. Right. So with that being said, you can face the same exact hate for somebody who's wearing either a star as a sheriff or a LAPD badge. Right. We face the same exact. They just, they just see a badge. They see a badge. Just, yeah. They see somebody telling them what to do, and can react. So it all falls into the same thing regardless. Yeah. yeah. And I'm really glad you, you came out and, and said that because you, like I said, you know what it's like on, on both sides. Yeah. You, you live your everyday, normal day-to-day -day life as well as put on a, um, a uniform to go to work and, and enforce the codes and laws of the city mm -hmm. that you work for. And um, so you, you know what it's like facing it, a political standpoint and normal human being standpoint yeah, absolutely. have you always been um like a fan of, of not really a fan but like interested into the world of, of of law enforcement and stuff has that always just interest you as growing up as a kid yeah it's actually yeah. I, I don't know how many ride-alongs i did my auntie used to work for the lapd department southeast division yeah. i done ride-alongs with them i volunteered at signal hill police department i um i did some other things with uh, alcohol and beverage control agency right. for the state so it was something that I always wanted to do now. Why I didn't go full throttle with it? Um, maybe it was a gut feeling that I had that I don't, I felt as I got older, it just probably wasn't for me with some of the ride-alongs that I did and seeing how some officers did certain things. Um, I think that's when I kind of fell off of it a little bit more, knowing that's not what I really wanted to be a part of. Um, so I stood back a little bit and I wanted to do it in a different way. Um, help people in different ways. Right. Like if somebody, if I'm help, if I'm at work and there's a home that I have a case on, I'm not there to be like either, you know, do this new, I'm, I'm there to, you know, to direct them, but it's a more of a, like, help me and I'll help you type of thing. Right. Like, help, you know, 
demolish this and then we'll give you some time and make a you know type of more of like a, a fair a fair officer yeah. so uh officer civilian whatever you want to say relationship and then right. everybody's cool yeah rather people see the police they see police right now their first instinct is just like you know f them yeah i hate you like get out of my face and type things and and the, and the bad thing about this is the bad cops are going to get the good cops badly hurt yeah and that's just the reality of it yeah so. that that is sad because i've actually seen when this all first started about um a you know a couple cops who actually would take knees and, and and work with the people like just saying you know listen if you promise to keep this peaceful and end it by the curfew mm -hmm. you know and all that i promise that me and my men we're just going to be here just for safety precautions and you know we'll, we'll back off of everything and we're just going to stand on the sidelines just to make sure no one gets hurt and i've seen cops that do that and i've even seen lately it's even gotten to the point where the national guard is stepping in yeah and i and i've seen national guards even say listen i can't leave my post but i can walk with you a few blocks yeah and i'll take yeah. a knee with you guys because i truly that's what they truly believe in so you do see on social media and the media of course uh you do see uh, acts of of good uh law enforcement um you know personnel and i i really do believe and I'm, uh, you know, it, it's just a statement that I, I believe in that not every cop is a murderer. No, not at all. And, not and it's, and it's, and it's like, I understand the last couple of days we've seen a lot of violence and, and, you know, we've seen some cops commit murders, you know, with the whole George Floyd and, and a lot of the violence that happened, you know, with the last couple of, uh, the last week with the, the, uh, the, of course the protesting and then some people take it to a no, whole new level with the rioting and the looting, um, but we've also seen the community step up, and when we see those riots and looting happen, they step in and they stop them, yeah. send them to the police, because this is not what this movement's about. This right. is just us trying to get our voice heard, which right. I respect that, because we don't see a lot of that with our community these days. We're, right. we're, actually, right. we're finally all working together and getting together with, with everybody and proving to the justice system that, yes, we do agree, laws still need to be enforced, mm -hmm. and what we're doing is we're just trying to get our voice heard. Right. And that's what I think. Um, I think that's all. That's what it should be about. And I hope this ends in a peaceful way. Yeah. I hope it doesn't get out of hand. And I hope everybody continues to share their voice on the topic. Um, and it, and it's been amazing to hear a lot of stories that's come out of this. Um, and that's why we wanted to bring you on to kind of bring our channel and really hear your story. Because in the like I've said in the past, you've been so nice to us. You've been so awesome to us. Um, when we were still coming up, you would you you agreed to come on the show and, and just to just to talk with us, and that has been like awesome for us. I think for me, it's like I never said no to an opportunity, and I'm glad I never said no to kind of get to know you more as a person yeah, and get to, and get to just know you, all that. And, and plus, when my dad comes home, he tells me some great stories with y'all. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's <laughs> hilarious. It's so, fun, yeah, man. Feeling um, mutual, man. Feeling yeah. mutual. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, before we leave, is there anything you want to educate our audience about with? you know the whole movement how, what they can do to help and how they can go forward about this um i would say um don't ha, be open-minded to the situation yeah you know i get it some people you know we always raise certain ways right. and you can't help that you're not going to change overnight like this protest is not going to change the fact that if somebody doesn't like a certain person for the color of their skin it's not going to happen overnight it's just not um, so it takes time, but there's been videos I've seen where um, people have grew up one way and that's all they knew and educated themselves on it and became more open and became, you know, best friends with somebody of a different race. Right. So I think it's all about just educating yourself, you know, and just don't be uh, closed minded to the situation. Just understand it a little bit better right. just so you can get us, you know, and I want to touch on. You know, I hear like you know the all lives matters and uh, and all that. Um, nobody, I don't believe nobody's out there saying only Black Lives Matter. Right. We're saying, as a whole, like don't forget about the Black community as right. well that's going through all this stuff. So, for example, if you have a house full, if you have a this whole neighborhood, and you have all these homes, mm -hmm. and you got one home that's burning down, but then somebody comes out and says, "Oh no no no, all these houses matter." Well, yeah, but unfortunately that house right now needs attention. Right. So let's put our focus on that house so all these homes can matter because that one matters just like the one that's not burning. 
the same exact thing why this movement is going you know I, cause I see a lot of videos of people saying all oh, lives matter all lives, you know yes that's very true that's the obvious but what yeah. we're saying is with the, the BLM what they're saying is yes your life matters but mine matters just, just as much as yours right you know if you get pulled over and it's a friendly conversation it should be the same thing if I get pulled over it should be a friendly conversation yeah. it shouldn't be get out of the car for no reason and you're not telling me what I'm getting out of the car for and, and that's something I've learned the last week and that was something I actually came out and said and I after educating myself about the whole situation I realized that yes the all lives matter everyone in the end of the day everyone cares about everyone right but all lives don't matter until black lives matter because they're the ones that you constantly see are getting the news coverage about beatings or about you know getting killed or about having an unfair trial compared to another person mm -hmm. and the last week I've really taken what I said and I've really just took the time to really go on social media because to be honest yeah you can watch everything on the news but social media is where it's gonna get the most real for you you're gonna see the actual videos behind what they're not showing on the news you're gonna see the violence that is being enraged out there by police who who continue to just enrage uh, protesters to uh, you know all they want to do is just share their voice when you have a cop over here that just wants to aim his gun you know and I think that in the last week I, I've learned and went back and just educated myself on the whole situation and and just kind of opened my eyes and I think talking to you today talking to someone about it really even opened my, my eyes even more going forward and uh, I can't thank you enough for that All right, thank you for having me I appreciate oh, it yeah, so. Yeah, Tyrone, I, I, I'm just I'm glad that you came on, and I, and I believe that we're going to get our voices heard in the end. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's taken so long, and there's been movements in the past with, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., mm -hmm. with the whole Rodney King stuff that went on in 92, um, and now today we are going to get, I think today with the, you know, the power of social media and the power of, of just connecting with everyone, I think this movement's going to be different from the past. For sure. I think we're gonna get, we're gonna finally get results, mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. just forget about it and keep moving on. Right. And then it happens again down the road ten years from now. Yeah. I think this time around we're gonna get results. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, I, I really appreciate you talking to the audience and, and just giving them some info about your your point of view of things and, and how you view society right now. And um, yeah, man, we we support the movement a hundred percent. We've been posting stuff on our social media to educate our audience. And I think this just did that further. Yeah, no, for sure, man. Yeah. We appreciate it. So, as a as you're as you're you know when you put on that uniform, I just wish you stay safe out there. Yeah. Because there is some people that just will take it the wrong way. Yeah. And um, as a person, I hope you just go forward and stay safe and just. I can't wait to have you back on and talk about some powerlifting, man. Yeah, once these things uh, once the the my competition got pushed back three times, yeah. I was supposed to compete this Saturday. Oh wow! In Vegas, but then they pushed it down now to August. Yeah. So we'll be back out there August first. August first, man. So we should be out there. So we're gonna be we're gonna be mid July. We're gonna connect again. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's talk about some powerlifting. Let's get let's get the word out there, man. Yeah, let's do it, man. I I, I, I think I did here too. Vegas is slowly opening up right now, so yeah. August mm -hmm. looking like it's probably actually gonna happen. This time, yeah, we should be good. Yeah. Man, it should good. be good. But, but I can see you're staying fit. You got your own gym at the house, man. That's good. It, right it's been right. hard for a lot of people over quarantine right. to stay fit. Yeah, but it's hard. Hey, this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing good. He, was, he was on a weight loss challenge. He was yeah. doing good. And then, I lost 20 pounds, and then quarantine hit, and I stopped. That's, what that <laughs> That's all right. We're going to get back right. into that, Robert. I wish I, I kept going, but well. It's all right. right. We're going to get back into it. We're going to get into it. Well, Pulley, thank you so much. No, thank you. I'm I really sure, appreciate man. this, man. And uh, no, Any Any of you guys... Uh, to do your part in this, you know, educate yourself for one, that's obviously the free option. Of course, sign the petitions, that's another good option. Uh, donate if you have the extra cash. Uh, and if you do choose to protest out there, I just ask you to stay safe. Wear your, uh, you know, your, of course, remember your COVID-19 uh, guidelines because that is still out there. I just want to remind people that is still out there. Uh, so, of course, wear your face masks and, you know, just be aware and cautious around people at these protests because uh, some people come with evil intentions, but everyone else there is just there to voice their opinion so everybody you be safe out there i hope this video educated you guys further on the situation and uh we will see you guys soon